What's going on, dog squads? This is your boy, Vail Dog, and this is my kitchen where I'll be bringing you affordable restaurant quality foods or better from my home to yours. Guys, we're going to start cooking in a minute. Okay, guys, we're going to jump right into it. Today, we're going to be making you guys a brunch burger, okay? And it's going to be one of the best breakfast or lunch sandwich ever. All right, I have some um, hash browns right here, four of those, four onions, uh, Vidalia onions, and now I got four cheddar cheese, four patties, four eggs, or four croissant buns, rolls, or whatever. I have some butter, and I took a, a teaspoon of um, olive oil and put it in the pan. We're going to go ahead and start with these today. I'll see you guys over there in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. All you want to do is take some oil. I put like a teaspoon of oil in there. Taking some butter. Spread some of that in there. <clears throat> Take, um, I like to do the tops first. Fit those in there best as you can. A little press down. We just gonna cook these till they get brown. Let's see. We'll go ahead and start now. And I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Just want to get us a spatula, and I can never find mine, so I'm gonna use this. Um, let me just check this out, see how it's doing. Yes, yeah, perfect. See how dense they get, so you don't want to keep them in there too long. This was only in there for about 30, maybe 40 seconds. Take your bottoms and turn this down a little bit. I add it on medium. It don't take long at all. Remember when you work on the croissant, they get dense real quick. So when they get soft, they, I mean, they get super soft. They don't take no time to cook. So you may want to put it on like medium low. It's about done already, see? Watch this. So just how quick they get done. See? Alright, we're going to turn this off because I'm going to have to wash this back out <clears throat> so I can um, do my eggs. I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. Put some olive oil in here. <clears throat> like a teaspoon. Some more eggs in here. I said some eggs. <laughs> Butter. Now this is going to be a, take a while to do because I don't like my eggs burnt. Okay? So, take this. Slice it up. See how I'm doing it? I'm putting them in the corner. If you don't have this type of pan, then you probably have to just, you know, do it slow one at a time. Let them cook flow. 
You don't want them to burn. All right. All right. See you in a minute. Let you know what time it's been. Okay, guys. It's been about a minute and a half. Show you how to look under the bottom. You see how they look under the bottom? They don't look burnt. That's how you want them. Now, you don't want your sunny side. See, I need a spatula. You just flip it, just like so, okay? So just like that. So I do two with sunny side and two not sunny side. And that's all they do. Now as far as how they look and all that stuff, all the pretty looking and all that stuff, this is what they do. They got an egg cutter. So what I did was I just chopped around the side, make them look a little presentable. Stuff, you know, just go around it like this and take out the other pieces. Here's the other little pieces that I took out right here. So don't be fooled by the restaurant. <laughs> Tell you what they do. So I'm not going to salt these eggs because this butter is, is uh, salted butter. So these are done. So what you can do with this one is, if you want to, if you don't want them runny, runny, runny. Some people like theirs runny, runny, runny. You can flip it like this. Count to about, I don't know. Let me get some of that oil over there. I'll re flip these. I need a spatula. Or I'm going to have to get one eventually, huh? See? See how pretty them eggs look? Just like that. See that? That's all you want to do. So these eggs are done. We we'll go ahead and find something to put that in. And I'll get started on something else in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Now we're going to start working on our hash browns. Here's the one that's already broken. We're going to turn this up some. We need it to cook. Okay guys, I'm back. I spent a minute into it. Found a, found the spatula. We're just gonna flip these. into it. Okay, this total cooking time for these potatoes about three minutes total time. I'm gonna go ahead and finish these up and show you how they look in about another minute. Alright. Okay guys I'm back I'm gonna go ahead and just take these out. We got the onions. Store some onions in there. Like that. And I'm working on these onions.
Now, for someone that like a little bite to them, then your onions would be complete at this stage. But this is going to add tons of flavor to this pan when we throw our burgers in there. This is why I did these steps like I did them. Uh, this French burger, and I'm not going to even lie to y'all. Like I told you, I'm like 47 years old. I did a brunch burger when I was about, how old was I? like 16 long time ago I used to, I used to be in the kitchen just creating stuff I don't know why but that's what I used to do and I still do I'm just you know I don't want to show you guys a whole bunch of different things like that right now because you know it's different when you're doing it on for someone I don't want to mess up and then have you guys talking about me <laughs> so you know I had a lot of mess up this is done by the way. Alright, go ahead and put this over here on a plate. Alright. Alright, that's on the plate. Now we're gonna get our burgers. They've been sitting in room temperature for about half an hour. I'm just going to go ahead and throw them bad boys in there. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit them all, but we'll try. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and let them bad boys cook like that for about two to three minutes. And I'll uh, show you why I'll be doing that. In a minute. So guys, I'm back. It's been two and a half minutes. See how it's starting to get a little moist right there? That's when you want to go in and just flip it. Just like that. Don't press on it or none of that mess. Like that, that's when you want to flip it. You want to lock in them juices. Let that cook for about three minutes. And then I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. A minute and a half. Been pumping on it. See, we got a little softness to the juice coming out. And we're going to flip it one last time. Cook it for about a minute. And then we're going to go ahead and go over there. See you guys in a minute. Okay, guys. I am back. Now, I got carried away, but I'm going to um, fix this issue. I'm going to flip these burgers this way. Okay. First thing we're going to put on there is our... Um, Hash brown. Put a hash brown on there. Alright. So, that's how you do this. Take the hash brown, then we flip the burgers back this way. Alright, then we take our cheese. Yes, we gotta have cheese, right? Take you some cheese. Take our onions. Like that. And we take our eggs.
Put you any condiments you want on there. Put your top on there. There you go. This breakfast would definitely satisfy any and everybody needs. If you want to throw you some bacon on there, some ham on there, feel free to. That's more than enough right there. I guarantee you it's going to fill you up. And um, guys, I appreciate you guys um, a whole lot. Make sure you guys hit that, that like button for me, comment. And if you guys new here, please subscribe to the channel. Okay? This is my take on my brunch burger. This is a croissant brunch burger. Okay? So you guys do make this and please like and share and subscribe to the channel where Veldar will be bringing you affordable restaurant quality foods or better from my home to yours. Guys, let's get cooking.